it was it was a seduce a Medusa, Medusa before the next before the moon. next full moon. So some of these are <laughs> that's just, pretty that's pretty bad. I mean, he did it. Well, what's I, I a did Medusa? It. I mean, well, I mean, we assume that any uh, uh, woman that Kevin would seduce would be a Medusa. So she didn't have to have wild hair or anything. No, no. just you know, be ugly enough that she would turn you to stone. Okay, but and Medusa. So, Medusa wasn't you, ugly. She though. was actually was beautiful. She beautiful, but she had snakes yeah. for hair. Yeah, she was evil. That would freak me. I out. think it was like it was a punishment for something she had done. Maybe. She's condemned or something. I don't know. It sound you know really really seduce a Medusa was like the reason why we used it. It just sounded good. either way though. The I don't want to get into details. This is bad. Like this. <laughs> but we had we had wait. You. So you 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 accomplished that one? Yes. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll but I the feel next like one, some man. of the other ones were a little easier. I uh, imagine, well, like, easier. I had do, to drink. do our laundry or something. Uh, what no, laundry? no, we had we had um, there was and there was like a reason or a logic behind each one. Like there was the 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 trial of community. We wanted you to go over to Tito's <laughs> yeah. place and clean his stables. At this point, it's his bathroom. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, you didn't do that one. No, I did not. Didn't do that one. Uh, um, we had uh, we want you to drink a box of wine like goddamn Sisyphus, the lord of uh, wine and good times. Unfortunately, I did that one. Uh, I helped you on that. Oh one. yeah, thank God. I yeah, would, I, I, I drank died. probably a liter of that one. I I drank. You still th- had three liters of wine. It's not nothing. Yeah. Um. Uh. What else did we have? We had the well, gin one. I don't know what the gin one, gin one was, but I, re- I know. the gin one. I don't remember what the logic was, but you right. had to drink an entire bottle of Gordon's gin straight uh, with no mixers. Yeah, you were allowed to have a glass of ice and tonic in a different mm. hand, and you could mix them in your mouth, but you yeah. may not mix them in the glass. And how did that night end up for me? That night ended pretty badly, actually. Yes, it did. I mean, you had finished the bottle and still insisted on going out to the bar. Yeah, and on the way to the bar, you fell a couple times in puddles and slipped mm-hmm. on ice. I tied your yeah. boots up. Uh, I kind of helped you get to the bar. And by the time we got there, you walked in and decided you were turning around. You need yeah. to go back home. And I then passed you off to Alex. I felt like I got you to the bar. I'd done my part. <laughs> I fell like, at least fourteen times. No, no, no. Maybe four. No, no seven on the way there. Oh. At least seven <laughs> on the way back. And like I fell in a puddle as well. Yeah, yeah. That was the real problem. That you fell in a puddle. Yeah. And also the box filled with vomit <laughs> that ended oh. up in my room. Oh, yeah. That was also problematic. Well, I mean, hold on. Let's clarify. That wasn't a challenge. No, you that was just... You vomited was, and the I was closest bed, thing and was, was a, a box, box. So I vomited and in a box. you just kind of left it in your room for a bit. Well, for a bit till I woke up and then I put it on my balcony. And then it stayed there until spring. Yeah, for a bit. That's the bit right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you remember any of the other challenges? Oh, you had um, to do... You had to do a bunch of chin-ups while smoking a cigarette. Yeah, that was a breeze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, like 15 chin-ups? No, I think it was smoke? like 25. No, no, no. I can't. I, it was not 25. Yeah, we made it something like doable. 25 is like almost impossible. Okay, so 15 chin-ups while, do, while smoking a yeah. cigarette. I mean, we've listed like half the challenges by now. Yeah, there's one of them was like slay the 10 arm beast or something. Oh, like yeah. Beat 10 people in a row you at had arm to wrestling. Beat, that's right. 10 people in a row at arm wrestling. I think I, I got to six. It's not and then easy. I, then I move on to the men at the party. <laughs> <laughs> um, so back to the burger, uh, 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 Burger Royale. Um, uh, what did what do we all think of the burgers, Matthew? I go start with you. Uh, well, when I first got that burger, I think you both noticed. I started. I, I cringed a little. I pulled back, and then I started rubbing my finger across the bun uh, to. To assess its greasiness, it, it looks very, very shiny bun. Very shiny, but the shine didn't wash off onto my hands. Yeah, it wasn't just so no. drizzled with oil. Yeah. It was a it's shiny like a bun. brioche. I don't. Is that it? Brioche. Is that is a brioche bun a shiny bun? I believe so. Or yeah. thank you, Kevin. See, this is why we need guests to fill yeah. in uh, gaps in our in our logic. Yeah, that may have just gained it a point. Who knows? <laughs> um, <laughs> It, the plate, the, the, they, had bur- they had plates there for our burgers? Oh, man, not only plates, but they had this little metal contraption underneath that, that kept the the bottom of the bun from getting all from soggy. even yeah. sitting on the plate. Yeah, yeah. and because sometimes grease goes onto the plate, so it keeps your burger dry. I yeah. think, I forget what it's called. I want to say it's like a setting tray or something like that. When you, like for mm-hmm. a steak or something, if you get a steak, it should set on a grill like that for two or three minutes to let any... Uh, juices that are still coming out because it's still cooking on the inside because it's still hot to drip out 
and then you get your final product so you don't get a little pool on your plate and I figured that was what that was I agree yeah <laughs> It, no, it was it was a uh, all around delicious, and uh, it stayed a whole it stayed a burger for me the whole time. I removed a tomato because I forgot to ask for no tomatoes. As you but, do, uh, I had a good. I ordered very well. I find I think I I was very concise. I knew what I was doing after learning the mistakes of you two. Yeah, you both you didn't really make any mistakes. No. but she had to ask you questions. Yeah. I was like, she's not going to ask me questions. I'm you were ready go for to it. go. Yeah, so that happened, and uh, yeah, I mean. There so what do you go. think of it? There, there, there was this is this is actually the first burger place that we go to that they ask the level of uh, cookedness that you would like your burger. Yeah, you went with medium. I went with medium. I like medium. Uh, a lot buddy. of a little yeah. pink. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times they don't do that because with hamburger meat, uh, it's it's usually frowned upon because it's it's not a solid piece of meat. Uh, it's ground it, beef. It depends mixed, on quality. Right? Yeah, so depends I imagine where they get it from. Quality. See, even when I would go to Buns, and I feel like uh, at that at Buns, it wasn't really high end meat, but uh, Buns rest in peace. Um, when I would go to Buns, I'd say, eh, "Make a little pink inside," and they were like, "I'm not allowed." I say, "No one's looking. I'm eating it. Don't worry." <laughs> no um, <laughs> and they'd usually do it for me. It wasn't really much of a problem after after they one time said, "No, we're not allowed." Uh, after I put up a little fight, they go fine. After the sharp. Stomach pains. <laughs> After the short stomach pains, I go, man, I'm never going back to buns again. And now they're closed. Jokes mm. on me. That's Jokes not true. On everyone. I, it always, it always worked out just fine. Um, uh, Kevin, what did you think of your burger? It was a delicious burger. Uh, start with the bun, I guess. That's where we're starting. You can uh, start it. So it was a good bun. Want. Nice little shininess to it, but it wasn't too it greasy. Wasn't greasy. It was mostly just I don't know what they use to make a brioche bun, but it's it's good. And uh, the meat, when you're having the possibility of having a medium, is always a plus, which means they're either very stupid or use a very good quality of meat, which I hope <laughs> it's the latter. <laughs> and well, uh, what did your mouth t- mouth tell you? Dude? My mouth told me that I was eating a good burger. <laughs> <laughs> so the qu- I believe it's a quality. Did you did you manage to get any uh, any bones stuck in your mouth this time? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. No, no. There's uh, surprisingly there were no bones because this. Kevin is somewhat of an ogre. Uh, it would seem. <laughs> is you waited until we got our burgers to 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 let out of the bag this this horrific horrific story to me at least. Uh, I found it horrifying. Kevin, elaborate. <laughs> um, I was eating a piece of uh, piece of fish earlier this week. Already horrifying. Yeah. Oh, you well, don't like fish, Matthew. No, but uh, even more so after this story. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. It was a good piece of fish, but sometimes uh, when you're eating fish, it's these little bones that you can't uh, you can't find. Then you're eating it, and then uh, well, the little bones in your mouth. <laughs> it looks like you're about to say something, Matthew. So I'm gonna stop no, no, for no, a I was second. Looking at you because I thought that was the end of the explanation. Nope. Just little bones in your nope. mouth. <laughs> so okay, carry on. And then I when I was done, my do- <laughs> are they called teeth? Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, when I was finished my piece of fish, I realized there was something stuck in my gums, and then uh, it was a little piece of a uh, little piece of a uh, little fish bone. And that was Thursday. <laughs> Today is uh, Sunday. It's Wednesday, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that fish bone has been in there for a week. Actually, um, it happened on Wednesday. It wasn't Thursday, so okay. there's an extra day right there. So uh, some, yeah, sucks. That sounds horrifying. So you got a little fish bone, and it went. Now, you said it's underneath your gum. So did it slide in where your gum and teeth meet or no, did it go in on its own? It's in the gums. See, that's that's why I was yeah. asking when he mentioned, well, why don't you floss? Why don't you brush your teeth? Can you not just pick no. it up with your fingernail? It's not between the tooth and gum. No, it just inside. stabbed right into an area yeah. of gum. Mm-hmm. No, but see, what I was thinking is that it went in because you know where your gum ends and your teeth begin. Sure. I thought it found its way in underneath the no, opening no, gum. No, that's and terrifying. Slid oh, up. Oh. Slid up in between a tooth and gum. No. Oh, okay, now. Shivers. Yeah. yeah, well that's what I that's oh, why okay. that's what I thought this that was. explains time. your reaction. Yeah. So you just have it in there and you're going to wait yeah. until the the Ooh. good lord decides it's time for you to have a uh, have no more fish. <laughs> Well, your suggestion enough. was going at it with an exacto knife. Nah, <laughs> yours, yours sounded way worse, Matthew, <laughs> actually. That would be like showing up in a hospital with a knife in my hand. Like, my mouth is completely Just open. Just bloody mouth. Completely everywhere. It would put me in, like, a psych ward. Like, Jesus. Anytime, no. anytime no. there's a piece on my body that shouldn't be there, 
Uh, exacto knife is my first first reaction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just get rid of it. And a fish bone? Yeah, just cut a little bit of gum. Get that out of there. No? You get like uh, a wart. You're bringing out an exacto knife? Nope. Have you ever gotten a wart? Well, I had this skin tag and I bought some stuff to freeze my skin. Yeah. I uh, froze it after an hour, and then I then I went at it with the X-Acto knife. And? Was that a bloody mess? Uh, a little bit of blood, but I cut it out, didn't feel anything, and then put a Band-Aid over it. Well, and that, uh, that we're all good? That sounded like a pretty simple procedure yeah, that well, worked like, out pretty well. I, I decided to freeze it. That was the humane part I of the I feel like that's the important part, yeah. Did it not come back? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> is that because it scars over, I guess? I don't know the logic of this. Uh, I've never had a skin tag. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes they come back, though, those things. With a, with a vengeance. But this fishbone, Kevin, I want you to get this taken care of. I, give me, like, a, a real suggestion that doesn't involve me, like, bleeding out. Yeah. Open your mouth up and let me fish around in there. <laughs> Matthew really likes putting his fingers <laughs> in other people's mouths. I remember there was a while, Matthew, when I would yawn. If I closed my eyes while <laughs> yawning, you would grab my tongue. No, I would not. What? I would not grab your tongue. What was it? You would scratch the roof of my mouth. Yeah, yeah. scratch oh, the roof of your mouth. Worth. Because you scratch the roof and it tickle, and then See, and you're there like, how would he grab your tongue, though? <laughs> no, that's true. That's what I would do to my dog. She would yawn, oh, and I'd go well, grab your tongue because you she would always reach her tongue so far you out hypocrite. when she would yawn. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. I, if I yawned and closed my eyes, you would reach your index finger and like tickle the roof of my mouth. It's 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 a wonder I never bit your finger off. Uh, because that's not the reaction you get. The reaction is the roof of my mouth is itchy, and that's a sensation I've never felt before. I'm freaking out. I used mm-hmm. to do this to a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> <and> <laughs> Why? Why? Because I just thought it was uh, it, no one was expecting it, but that's, that's um, right. not everybody appreciated it. So I, I can imagine. I've yeah. since retired that. <laughs> I don't think I. Who appreciated it? Were there any individuals who were like, "Oh, that's so lovely when you." Reach your finger inside my mouth. Uh, no, but, uh, other than Sebastian's dog, like, <laughs> <laughs> the reactions are like, "Ah, oh, no, stop! What'd you do? What are you doing? Oh, it's horrible!" And then they get, uh, you know, they just start freaking out about the sensation in their mouth. So, I mean, how did you feel when I did it to you? What are we talking you about? You never told me to stop. <laughs> I had an itch on the. Well, I mean, I don't know if I told you, hey Matthew, never do that again or anything like that. I certainly didn't appreciate it. But you didn't tell me to stop. That's well, the, yeah, oh, I yes. love this. Out of context, this is the best conversation ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is a discussion about mm. consent now. Is yeah, it's, it's exactly what it is. <laughs> oh, uh, so, I, I might bring that back. It might be what oh, I do. In please my, uh, don't. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Matt, uh, Kevin's just going to keep tonguing at that bone until until it slides mm-hmm. out. Which is what I would do to you. Yeah, till the Chinese New Year. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I don't what, know what, what that is. I the feel Chinese... like it's in a long time from now. And I'm just and going. He's waiting for a year of the rat over here. A little mm. rat boy over here. He's no. Gonna... <laughs> I'm a, there's a tiger over here. But we're all the same year. Uh, so. Well, we're year of the tiger. I don't know how many. How big the cycle is. I believe this year is like a, a monkey year. I do not know. Dog? I regret mentioning the Chinese New Year. The rooster? <laughs> we used to go on forever. Uh, what other animals? Uh, and so I think that's pretty much a whole animal kingdom right there. Uh, <laughs> Maybe one or two more. Kangaroo. <laughs> the year of the kangaroo. <laughs> the China known for its kangaroos. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> I'm just surprised I can't think of a single animal that we can <laughs> Frog. That's, well. Could be in there. I really don't know. I guess. I listed all the ones that I know are your of the... Oh, lion is one. Lion's one. Pig ox, is one. Ox. I got ox. Ox, yeah. That's ox one. is one. Yeah, yeah. Pig. There we go. All right. We know Chinese years. Kevin has the most serious look on his face right now. Well, we're having a serious conversation, so... So my burger, <laughs> I also noticed the shininess. I felt the bun to see how oily it was. It was fine. It was great. Uh, it was on that little extra uh, setting stand, which uh, impressed the heck out of me. I feel like that was that's that's some next level stuff right there. Um, the first bite of my burger was tremendous. I really enjoyed it. So the stuff slid out of the burger a little bit, but it wasn't. It didn't pop out. I was able to just slide it back in. It wasn't wasn't really an issue. The last bite of my burger, I needed a fork for. 
because it was getting a little – it was a bit of a drippy burger. Mind you, yeah. I ordered the meat, the patty done at a medium, so it will be a little drippier.